Have you ever asked yourself the question, where is our eternal home? But you know, a better question is, are we in a better place? Hate to tell you this, everybody ain't going to heaven. Hello, my friends. I'm Daniel Talley, the Note to Self Guy, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, one of the purposes of this channel is to give the listening audience a little food for thought. You hungry? Good. Let's begin. Now, it's been said that death and taxes are the only certainties in life. Well, that's not exactly true because, you see, some rich folk and some companies uh, seem to get away without paying any taxes whatsoever. But, of course, uh, that's a topic for another discussion. The bottom line is simply this. Death is pretty much the only certainty in life. Well, we all got a number and someday you and I will both leave this planet. In other words, we're gonna die. Now, we came into this world with nothing and quite frankly, we're gonna leave out of this world with nothing. The only evidence that we'll have that we were here was the impact we had on the world and the impact we had on other people. And certainly how we serve God while we're on this planet really does matter. Dealing with the death of a loved one is not an easy thing. And sometimes people make statements of comfort. However, these statements of comfort aren't necessarily true. For example, oftentimes people use the term, heaven just got a new angel today, or that person just got their angel wings. Well, not true. Fools go, people are not angels, nor will they ever be. Here's another one that we hear all the time. He or she has gone on to be with the Lord. They're in a better place right now. Oh, really? Well, now that depends. Depends on what you may say. Well, it depends on if they accepted the Lord Jesus as Lord and Savior before they died. Psst. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Listen, let me be perfectly clear. I don't have a heaven or a hell to put anybody in. Full disclosure, heaven and hell are not the final eternal destinations. They are the new earth and the lake of fire. Revelation 21 verses 1 and 3. Revelation 20 verse 14. But the sad reality of it is, is that many of us will not make it. Now you may be saying, hey man, you ain't God. How you know? Stop being a Debbie Downer. You know what? You're right. I'm not God. However, here's what God has to say about the matter. Enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life. And only a few find it. Matthew 7 verses 13 and 14. Now, let's think about this thing for a minute. There are approximately 7.9 billion people living on the earth today. And Google has estimated that there has been over 107 billion people to have ever lived. Now, the scripture tells us that many will not make it. And then it says that a few will. Well, if you ask me, a few probably equates to billions and billions of people. I got news for you. None of us should be counted amongst the lost. It is not God's will that any man shall perish. As a matter of fact, he loved the world so much that he sent his one and only son on a suicide mission to die for the sins of all of mankind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16. Accepting Jesus as Lord and Savior is kind of like getting eternity insurance. Now you may be wondering, eternity insurance? What's that? Well, let me let my friend BT explain that. Listen, mister, do you have eternity insurance? In other words, doctor, do you know where you're headed when you leave this earth? If you'd like to be saved and be assured of going to heaven, Here's what you got to do. Repeat after me. Father God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for my sins. I recognize that he is Lord and that he died for my sins, Father God. And I ask forgiveness. Lord, I realize that I am a sinner. Father God, I pray that you would forgive me for everything that I've ever done, Lord God, and that I will do my best to try to live my life according to your word. Thank you for saving me, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. That is the greatest decision that you will ever make in your entire life. See you on the other side.